Welcome to Head and Shoulders ATR, where we cover athletes, performances, and otherwise that are head and shoulders above the rest. And thank you all for coming out today because we are going to cover Stephanie Ann McPherson's chances to winning the 400 meter dash. So stay tuned. But before we get into today's topic, you know what to do. Smash that like button if you like this content and subscribe. We're looking for 10,000 subscribers by the end of October beginning in November, because we will come be coming out with animated videos, assuming that we have enough members and everything like that, too. But yeah, definitely. We're talking about Stephanie Ann McPherson. And before before you come on the video and say, where's Allison Felix's video? Well, Allison Felix's video is coming up as long as I have enough time to release all of these within that short period of time. OK, look at McPherson's face. That's how I'm going to look at you and be like, really? Are we still really doing this right now? All right. Without further ado, Stephanie Ann McPherson, she can actually take this on, right? She can actually take this on. We can't uh, counter out. She might have been using her max effort, but she looked like she was holding back. Now, I listened to her interview after that race was over, right? And after the race was over, she, she said she did not know that she was so close to the Jamaican national record in the 400. So with that being said, if she knew that she was that close, she said she would have ran all the way through instead of slowing down about 20 meters before. So that means maybe she was going uh, close to her full effort. So that means the, the uh, national record for Jamaica is probably where she is. So a 49 low, right? But how she spoke right after the race, how she looked after the race, she looked pretty comfortable. So she might have been able to do another gear had she been challenged. She said she was just running. She didn't realize that she was that far in the lead or that she was even running that fast. So she thought she was holding back. That's the sign right there. She said she did not know she was running that fast. So with that being said, since she was unaware of that, we're going to give her mm, somewhere around a 48 high if she was doing her full effort and she can go all the way through. Now, the reason why I'm saying that Stephanie Ann McPherson can actually win this is because Shawnee Miller-Webo, after the end of her last race, go watch that prelim round or the semifinal round. Now, NBC was good to cut this off. I don't even know why they didn't um, cover it, but I guess it was unimportant to the broadcast or the narrative um, because if you don't stick to the narratives, it kind of doesn't make the story. They covered slightly after, but they this was uncharacteristic of their videos. They just started straight out to the race, which they don't do in all of their races, and then it went straight to the end, and then as soon as she looked like she was about to start crying and hold that back, they cut the video immediately. And so this is showing a sign that she's dealing with injury. If that affects her more than what I think it will, which I still think that she's the overwhelming, uh, at least co-favorite, then Stephanie Ann McPherson has the door opened up for her. I think that she has a better chance of getting that gold than Allison Felix at this point. But Allison Felix is going to be very, very dangerous, especially with the move that she can do at the end and in the home straightaway. She knows how to close and everything else. So I can't count out Allison Felix either. But the video that I'll have for Allison Felix and her chances will come after that. Now, what does Stephanie Ann McPherson have to do to fight off Paulino, to fight off uh, Allison Felix, right? And you can even see how focused she was and what she had done. Allison Felix tried to congratulate her. She tried to give her a pat on the back, like, hey, good job for making it through. She did not even look. She didn't look over her shoulder. She didn't acknowledge her. I mean, I watched that whole thing after to see if she would, at least where the cameras had panned. It didn't even look. She was just focused in her own world. She was like, yeah, let's get this. And I mean, hey, that's the way I look at it. Hey, if I'm competing against you while we're out there, we are not friends. We could be friends. We could have all of that stuff after the final is over. But before, if that's my thought process and I need to focus like that, I need to keep myself hyped up to be focused. And that's, I, I can respect that with some athletes. Now, after the finals over and all of that, if I thought I was going to win or she thought she's going to win, right? And it happened, man, give them their time to be like, wow, in shock for not getting it. Look at uh, Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Give her her time to get shocked. Uh, some people can recover faster. The egos are a little bit smaller and then they can come up faster and just say, all right, good job. I'll, I'll hug you and everything. Other people, dang, it took them a couple of days. I mean, Fraser Price, it took her a couple of days before she came around. And uh, yeah, but with this being said, 
McPherson. What she's going to have to do is come out like how she came out the last time. She's going to have to come out hard. She's going to have to dominate up to uh, that first 150. Then she's going to maintain that all the way up to 300 or so meters. And then from there, she's going to have to put in work. People have been doubting uh, McPherson. Even uh, some people in Jamaica was like, yeah, not really. She doesn't have realistic chances and everything like that. And I can see that. But after seeing her uh, races and seeing that she has improved her form, that is the biggest thing. She has improved her freaking form. And when she's improved that form, instead of that awkward uh, side thing, you even saw it with her face. Let me see if I find that picture again uh, that I have here. That face that she has. That face, that's kind of how she would run. Like her head's bobbing sideways. Her arms are not uh, mechanically good and everything. Look back at the Beijing 2015 race. Yeah, although she could, she caught Americans, the Americans, her form was not technically that good. That's why she wasn't fast on paper yet. Now, when she's fixed her form, she's gotten over whatever issues she gotten over and came here focused and uh, determined. She's not the, I'm focused and relaxed. I'm focused and determined. I'm fired up. That's the athlete that she is. Obviously, she's got to be some level of relaxed because you can't run tight and actually efficiently run. But she's coming here focused, determined, ready to snatch that gold if that's what uh, if that's what's the case and what it takes. So I like to see that fire in her. Allison Felix, she's focused and determined, ready to take that gold if necessary. But she's more the smiley type. But don't don't count her out. Now, when it comes to her facing Polino, this is going to be her biggest opponent. And can we take a moment? Look at the abs. All of them got they they are ripped. They are ripped athletes from Paulino, which in the middle of her uh, run, you can't see it as much to Hayes to McLeod. I'm pretty sure the athletes in the back there faded out a little bit more. But man, they are ripped. So Paulino is going to be a danger. She held back. If y'all see that semifinal, she looked like she held back the most. And she came in with the fastest time. Uh, Shawnee Miller-Webo was doing barely just enough. She kept looking around left and right to see what she had to do to stay in the lead. That's what she wanted. She wanted to get a, a preferential lane. That's all. She's the defending champion. So she wanted to get her preferred lane. But with uh, McLeod, I don't think she has to worry about McLeod. Hayes, she's in lane two. She doesn't have to worry about it. Hayes is going to be trying to hold on for dear life to get a medal. Um, I'll be surprised if McPherson can't get in front of her and uh, for a spot, if not get a gold, get a medal, right? So we're going to talk about the overall chances here. Now, here's the scenario on this one. Here is how she can win. Like I said, Stephanie and McPherson being in lane six, she's going to have Shawnee Miller-Webo to her outside. And then after that is Allison Felix. Uh, Jody Williams, I really don't think she has to worry about too much. So she's going to have to uh, realize that Marilini, Marilini is going to likely eat up the stagger on her and she cannot panic. If anything, she uses that for her fuel right around that 200 meter uh, to maybe uh, 175 meters to go. She might have to just start getting her refocused right back there. Shawnee Miller-Webo is going to do her thing. She already knows she's been practicing in the 200 rounds for her uh, for her bid to how she's going to run her first 150. So that first 150 is going to be crucial. Stephanie Ann McPherson has to be maintained with Shawnee Miller-Webo, if not slightly ahead of her, because I can't see her really uh, clawing down on Miller-Webo, even with her in pain. Also, Miller-Webo is going to be aware that Allison Felix is there and knows how to close. So Miller-Webo is likely going to take out harder. So if she does, McPherson needs to be able to match that. That's how I think that she's going to be able to win this goal. Now I'm going to do the next video on Allison Felix, how she's going to win it and how uh, Marilidi is going to win it. I've already done something on Shawnee Miller-Webo. I don't need to really do a refresh, but here's one that Miller-Webo can do. Miller-Webo's going to have to run her own race. She's going to have to push through the paint. Quite frankly, I think she is the most talented out of the entire field right there as far as current age and everything. Allison Felix might have been able to at a younger age access her speed and do some low 48s or something like that because she did that 47 second split in a four by four but that was when she was chasing somebody she's in lane nine she's gonna be chased she's gonna have to run blind and so maybe that same i'm chasing somebody energy comes up to her in lane nine and she can activate it for one last race in the open maybe that's what happens but i'm not counting on it so with that being said the most talented quite literally is likely Shawnee Miller-Webo, 
the same, but it's a double edged sword. She's going to be injured because we see it. We see that she's hurt. So at this point, Shawnee Miller Weibo being hurt. Should have uh, zoomed in earlier, but Shawnee Miller Weibo being hurt is going to be a big fat L on her momentum the entire way. So that's where it leaves the door. She's like um, the animal. They're, everybody else are the sharks. And they're all sniffing. It. They're all sniffing and saying, okay, wait a minute. Where's the prey? Shawnee Miller Weibo is like the prey right now. And those everybody else are the sharks that are sniffing the blood in the water. They're like, okay, I can smell that. Or a wolf. They can smell that the rabbit is injured. They said, I don't know where the rabbit is. Shawnee Miller Weibo is like the rabbit and she's injured right now. But that doesn't mean the rabbit can't get away. That doesn't mean the dolphin can't get away. They still got the strength to still be able to get away, even with a pack of wolves uh, after them or a pack of sharks uh, or a pack of sharks after them. That's what Shawnee Miller Weibo has to dig deep in order to get that race and to keep this championship. I don't think that the Olympic record um, is going to go down, but if it does, it's probably going to be pushed on by Meraliti at that point. And I think Meraliti would take it. If the Olympic record is needed for this, Meraliti's got that race. But if not, then it's open to virtually anybody else, including Allison Felix. And I'm going to do that video now. So definitely like, comment, subscribe. Once again, turn on all notifications on the bell notification and stay tuned for more uh, videos because we're going to do the history of these races as well as what's coming up and highlights of certain athletes that are doing well from uh, the countries that are mainly represented here, which are the UK, uh, Jamaica, and uh, USA. Then we got some people from Trinidad and Tobago, but to a lesser extent. Peace.